Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, August 21st, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. First of all, thanks to everybody attending the live stream we set up uh, today about the Microsoft IPv6 uh, vulnerability. Nothing new really since then, no exploit out yet. The closest an exploit that we have is uh, the discussion that I linked to yesterday and I also linked to it in today's diary on X about uh, diffing the patch and uh, Basically, that gives a couple of hints how the exploit could possibly look, but also makes it kind of seem less likely that sort of a working automatic exploit will easily be developed for this vulnerability. Overall, this reminds me more and more of the free BSD vulnerability that we had. I think it was last year uh, when that came out. That was an IPv4 vulnerability, but uh, still it was similar, severe, but uh, not easy to actually exploit. And various users of uh, dual boot Linux Windows systems have stated that they are having issues booting their Linux partition after the recent Microsoft August update. The error message that's typically being seen here is verifying shim sbat data failed security policy violation. This is related to secure boot. sbat stands for secure boot advanced targeting. And one of the pieces was updated in the August update, and I mentioned this a couple times, is the root certificates being used to actually verify secure boot. A link to a blog post that talks about in a little bit more detail what's going on here with Linux and how to hopefully get your system to boot again. But in short, the workaround here is to disable secure boot, then to update the secure boot policies, basically deleting them and then rebooting again. And after yet another reboot, you may hopefully be able to re-enable secure boot. And Broadcom published a blog post uh, with details regarding an attack they have seen exploiting a relatively recent uh, PHP vulnerability. This is the PHP CGI bin vulnerability was discovered earlier this year. It predominantly affects Windows because that's where you often see PHP running as a CGI bin binary instead of as a PHP module or so, which you have more likely happening on a Linux system. So these exploits observed by Broadcom are targeting Windows systems. They're not really stealthy in the sense that uh, once the malware is deployed, it uses good old DNS CAD in order to exfiltrate data over DNS. It uses the usual long random DNS host names that should pretty much stick out and you know, something that has been around for quite a while. Looking at DNS logs, looking at uh, your longest host names being resolved is sort of a standard threat hunting technique. So I hope that uh, people will pay attention, even though I know they won't. And talking about things to pay attention to, there are a couple of vulnerabilities worthwhile mentioned that have received patches. A big IP or F5 did uh, release patches. One big IP patch here, fix a vulnerability that allows attackers to obtain a user's session cookies. This is the type of vulnerability we have seen exploited. I think it was FortiGate or one of these firewalls that had a very similar issue that was heavily exploited. It may have been SonicWall, I forgot. Definitely get this patched before your big IP here is being turned against you. They also updated uh, Nginx Plus, but that's just a memory exhaustion vulnerability. Well, and this is it for today. Uh, please subscribe if you're listening uh, to this podcast on your podcast platform. Leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and well, as usual, tell your friends and enemies about this podcast to get them to listen as well. That's it. Thanks for listening. and. Talk to you again tomorrow.